It is time for a subreddit where I have never truly felt like I belonged to more. It's finally, I can drink the water I left in my car overnight season. Okay, first post and I'm already kind of depressed because for, yes, your side of the world, yep, it's colder. Yeah, yeah, you can. But for my dingy upside down side, it's summer. Absolutely not the best time to drink the car water. Well, I mean, not unless you feel like something hot in the morning. Hmm. Mm, hot plastic melted water. <laughs> when you're a kid, you think coffee is the most adult drink. Then as a teenager, you think alcohol is really the cool adult drink. Then you'll finally become an adult and realize that all along, it was water. Water is the ultimate adult drink. This is absolutely fact. And if you are someone who prefers sparkling water at the table, I want you to understand that you are telling everyone that you are not grown up yet. Yes, I know this opinion is actually unnecessarily rude to people who just enjoy a bit of spritz in their water, but I don't care. I need to have a bias on this. We're allowed to be petty about something. This is the thing I'm petty about. <laughs> also, if you think water is amazing, let me introduce you to tea. Yeah, hot, leafy water. Vaporeon has just been announced as the official mascot of Japan's Water Day on August 1st. Well, congrats, Vaporeon. Your wetness has made you a great symbol for the water in Japan. Gosh, you must be absolutely gushing. It's no surprise, though. Vaporeon is absolutely the most compatible Pokemon for Water Day. Speaking of compatibility, did you know that in terms of male, human, and female Pokemon... If you ever got water from this and that beer started vibrating and shaking... Ooh, you knew that water was about to get cold as free. I'll be honest, as a kid in primary school, when the taps did this, I was afraid they were going to blow up. I genuinely would let my friends drink ahead of me, just in case. <laughs> was I known as a puss in primary school? Yes, but not because of that. It was because I could take a pounding. We should make and sell a water bottle with Hydro Homie written on it and give the profit to an organization that fights against the water crisis in developing countries. No! I love honey. Uh, but you know what I don't love? Watching Nestle steal water from poor countries and then force them to buy it back. Everyone should have the right to water and Nestle is the worst for stealing it. Egyptian food truck driver in the Bay Area. An OG hydro homie for years. Because I love you. I truly do. I will not poison your body selling you soda or sugary drink of any kind. Water is the best thirst quencher. My god, and it's literally true. I mean, feel free to correct me in the comments, but water is literally the best thing to hydrate your body with. Now, if you are going to correct me with some factually thing about, I hydro light and other medication can help with you. Just understand, your correction against me might summon the horde of hydro homies and they are relentless, okay? It is like they, they leave no evidence of your body, I'm just saying. How do I know this? Well, I had a sister. Emphasis on had. 0.2 seconds in and I'm hooked. Water. Oh, hell yeah! Earth. Boo! Literally forgot water Water for one day. Ugh, the dramatics. Please, Olivia. Oh, I'm gonna die. Olivia, I'm gonna die. Mm, thank you. Why is water so hated on? You know he's broke when he only lets you order water. Say it with me, everyone. You, you know, know you're broke, broke when you depend, depend on someone, someone else to pay for your meal. Bruh. Water is underrated at restaurants. You order water and the flavor comes from the food and isn't interrupted by the flavor of your drink. I can agree with that. Now, I know this can depend, though, if you're someone who actually enjoys a bit of flavor in your water to go with your meal. I mean, wine does genuinely go good with steak and stuff. But you know what's also great? Getting to cleanse your palate so it's nice and clear to go for your dessert. Especially if you're like me and accidentally order three desserts. Whoops. Oh, how did that happen? Oh, oh well, well. Got a kidney transplant yesterday. Happy to report to the homies that I am peeing clear for the first time in years. Oh, thank goodness. It's just a photo of them in the hospital bed and not the... <laughs> <laughs> Not the clearness, the transparent beauty that they were so proud of. I mean, I'm all happy to you for that. Just, you know, I don't want to have to see that. Is being hydrated really worth all this peeing? Hi, friend. Fun fact. The human body can only absorb one liter of water per hour and not all at once. Likely the reason you're peeing so much is because you're taking in too much water at a time. So your body just flushes it through your system as opposed to absorbing it. A good rule is one quarter of a liter every 15 minutes. Now, don't get me wrong. There are definitely times that I want to and will glug a whole liter like it's nothing. But steady hydration throughout the day is key. 
Signed, your friendly local wilderness first responder who rehydrates people for their job. With bottled water, right? With, with bottled water, right? Why are you smiling? Keep water in your fridge at exactly 39.2 degrees Fahrenheit. Water is the most dense at this temperature, which means you get the most hydration per gulp. Still not doing it. That's four degrees Celsius for everyone else who actually has a proper measuring system. But a counterpoint also hasn't landed anyone on the moon yet, so... The perfect food. Um, what can I get that has no sugar, no carbs, and is fat-free? Water. This is funny because, obviously, back in the early 2000s, that was the fact with any restaurant food. But nowadays, uh, well, uh, basically anything. I mean, most of it's far more pr highly processed and therefore not actually healthy for you, but hey, who cares? As long as you're following your fad diet you won't commit to for more than a month. Martian water accumulating on the legs of the Phoenix Mars lander. Wow, incredible. We could actually legitimately process life on Mars. Nestle. No, no, no. Ladies, I can carry your water for you very efficiently. Please pick me. Never have slight headaches ever again. Alien. What's with all the plastic bottles all over the planet? Last human. Uh, we mostly use them to drink water. Alien. But you had that wild system of cleaning water and running it all those pipes into billions of buildings all day every day. Yeah, but it was tap water. Plants. Our original hydro homie. The sun. I am 100 million billion pounds of burning hydrogen, helium, carbon, neon, and iron. Plants. Yum yum, I'll have that and a water? There is an imposter among us. Everyone in this subreddit. Me, who also drinks coffee and alcohol. The water, water, water. Water. Ooh, no. water. water. Coffee sucks. Oh, uh, yeah, coffee. Yeah, water. 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 Coffee. yeah water. 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 so bad, water. so dumb. Water. <laughs> water. Water. I'll never drink that. Water. Shh. <laughs> A small price to pay for salvation. Being a hydro homie. Ooh. Having to go to the bathroom every 10 minutes. Bottled water companies don't produce water. They produce plastic bottles. Oh yeah? Then why does it taste so good? Because you buy it from a regulated fridge and because you're purchasing something, you feel like it's more of a valuable asset than it actually is. Like how one is psychologically manipulated by themselves to enjoy a sandwich if someone else makes it versus making it themselves. I don't like you! Drunks are already girl gets absolutely given water and put to bed. Oh, she's gonna have such a minimized hangover when she wakes up. <laughs> Reddit has ruined my ability to make independent purchase decisions. Can't even buy a water bottle anymore without consulting the freaking water bottle subreddit. Look, it's totally valid to go seek uh, reputable information from people who are reputable in that uh, environment. Unfortunately, you are also going to Reddit which really counters that original um, uh, statement of mine, so... I'm not really sure what to do with this. No not November. <laughs> no Nestle November. <laughs> that I can get behind. I don't know about any of you, but I'm... There's just something about this subreddit that's making me think that maybe... <laughs> maybe... <laughs> Maybe they don't like Nestle. George Kent rocking the 64-ounce Nalgene during impeachment proceedings instead of the provided 8-ounce bottles. Absolute power move. I will refuse to go to the bathroom and urinate in this spot to express dominance for my beliefs. You can't touch me. I peed here. This is my territory now. I own it. Ask Reddit. If you could have the power to make any unhealthy food or drink healthy, which one would you pick and why? Salt water. You're welcome. This is a great example of something that seems so obvious now that it's been brought to light. Though that said, so much business would go out of, well, business if this was a thing. Water processing plants? I mean, yeah, I guess they'd still somewhat exist for, you know, toxic chemicals in salt water itself still, but I mean, yeah, I just drink from the ocean and I'm, I'm okay. Except, and I know I'm bagging on Melbourne once again about this fact, uh, uh, but I would avoid the salt water around Melbourne. Literal traces of poop chemicals in the salt water out there. I'm sure it's the same here in Sydney, but I choose to ignore that fact because I live here. I love that I'm just sharing the beef between Melbourne and Sydney uh, to the whole rest of the world who has no real care or idea that's even a thing here in Australia. I'm sorry, I'm digressing. Point is, Sydney's better. It's not, I'm kidding, it's not. But I'll say it is because I live here. I just found out that my husband fills the dog's water dish not from the tap, but from the fridge's water purifier feature. She'd do the same for me. He said, that right there is a man who knows how to be a good man. That is absolute father material right there. That is that is a man you feel comfortable having kids with. I mean, it's a dog, and he reckons it deserves the best treatment. Oh, I have 
never seen a gallon of water looking so crisp. Ugh, this is exactly the kind of bottle you want to see in your fridge at night when it's like 2 a.m. and you're just parched. <laughs> oh man, honestly, why even need in this world? Just be thirsty and have some water nearby. You know, oh man, that's, oh, God, that hits the spot. Honestly, it makes me theorize that maybe we actually have some sort of addiction towards water. Like we've just developed it for so long amongst human evolution that now we genuinely do die without it because of withdrawals. Just like the theory that oxygen is actually poisonous for us, but we still need it because of an addiction for it. Those theories have no grounds of actual proof, but I'm going to believe them anyway because it makes me feel smart. Because we know what's really sexy. Women sending nudes versus men sending nudes. Okay, look, no, look, in, <laughs> in men's defense, what is it about men's bodies that are actually attractive visually? Come on, let's, let's be real. Our physical shape is as in interesting to look at as a cardboard box. Sure, muscles, okay, but you, it takes a lot of time to get muscles. We're not born with pecs or veiny perfect biceps, you know? So you can't blame the men out there who just resort to the, <laughs> the thing that's got to do with the intimacy. Don't get me wrong, especially unsolicited, they don't look good at all. I'm just saying, what else can we do? <laughs> Please. This, at this point, it's just, it's a plea for help. Fellow homies, I have found the worst beverage. Okay, technically that's still a drink, so I mean, I'd argue the worst beverage will be one that you don't drink, but you eat, you know, because it wouldn't actually have any liquid in it, so. Anyway, the chocolate Oreo shake. 2,600 calories. Okay, there seriously needs to be a law that if something is over 150% of the recommended dietary intake, like daily value, it, it should just be banned, just not allowed. Almost 300% of your daily intake for saturated fat. What the f I feel like one of these would kill a European. Yeah, there's actually no drink in the entire world that needs to be 2,600 calories. It's strange how the freedom of consumerism is probably one of the strongest examples as to why sometimes uh, enroaching one's rights or autonomy might actually be for, for the betterment of their livelihood. The true power of a god. R slash god tier superpowers. Every time you drink eight ounces of water, a mosquito dies and a bee is born. Hydro homies has joined the chat. We yes. the power yes. of water. Yes. That LK Easy H2O just hits different. You versus the guy she tells you not to worry about. Look, it does help that the one on the right doesn't look like a urinal at the same time. Oh, but man, the this the LK used to be at my old gym, and I I do miss that. That, oh, and just seeing the number go up, the amount of like cups you save by filling up your water bottle. Oh, ho, ho. that little green bar there that shows you the numbers. Oh, baby. Oh, feels so attractive for protecting the environment. Watering my plants from my water bottle is so intimate. <laughs> like sip for you, then sip for me. <laughs> Yeah, okay, ease up on that, fella. You, you already got a questionable Twitter username. Let's let's not try to dive into any other weird rabbit holes. When you were served water at a restaurant immediately after you sit down. A blessing! A blessing from the Lord! Seriously, what happened to this? This needs to be mandatory in any country where humidity is the norm. I mean, has it occurred to anyone that oneself is far more enjoyable to the environment they're in and welcoming when they're hydrated? No, but sure, encourage them to have a bunch of alcohol instead, where they'll become more dehydrated and more stressed over that suddenly because they want to have more to drink. Like they need they need to sip on something. Oh, but they have to pay more for more alcohol. Just give them some free water. Sorry, I'm realizing I'm far more passionate about this issue than I thought I originally was. Finally found a decent sized water bottle. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Yeah, have fun carrying around an entire second human being. Sub goes private. Me. <laughs> Hope you guys can still accept me. This whole sub. Me, medically prohibited from drinking soda. Hell yeah, medical issues that are actually good. Water is like the oldest beverage ever and somehow has no nickname. No one is ever like, huh, sure could go for a cup of that clear or whatever. Huge oversight, in my opinion. All right, let's uh, try some stuff. <clears throat> Sipping on that moist. That that immediately sounds like something else that <laughs> feels a bit R-rated. Old Splashy. Uh, again, that sounds like the name of something, not something you drink. Asheville Police Department destroy medic station for protesters, stab water bottles, and tip over tables of supplies. Huh. <sighs> 
So this is what Gohan felt when he saw Android 16's head get crushed by Cell. This has gone too far. Somebody get Trevor Rainbolt to track down this guy's stat. Woman in front of me at airport security has a bottle of frozen water. They want to take it. She says it's not a liquid. Outstanding move. Stay plump, Hydro Homies. Me before becoming a Hydro Homie. Me after becoming a Hydro Homie. It's true. I'm fat now. And I love it. You know who's naturally warm? in the winter? This guy. Sup, homies. Day one of no alcohol. Only water and the occasional Coke with a meal. Not the best feeling, but it's for the best. I'm leaving r slash drunk and joining the homies. Skid it. Oh, why, why is the cat so sad? I don't like this photo. No, you shouldn't be like this. You should be happy. You're finally reclaiming your body's ability to enjoy water. Yeah, congrats, man. This is the first step on a road to health and success. Yeah, doing it to succeed. The the only health reason I can think of is to have steady turds. <laughs> That's truly fascinating that one's strongest motivation in life is to poop good. Yeah, your kidneys and liver will thank you. Not to mention your brain. My man. Bruins Haywood only drinks water. Okay, well I'm hacking the nearest ATM and giving this person one million dollars. I've been robbed. I still drink water though. Hydro homies. Keep hydrating, lads. Here we have them posting a meme about water and this sub absolutely endorsing it. Good, now go collect your arrow. Oh, okay, well, let's try it out. <clears throat> water. Those bastards lied to me. Hey, don't worry, buddy. I'm sure you're not alone. No one really gets money up votes for just saying water. Oh. Water. Oh, water. No. Oh. oh, I'm so water. sorry. Oh, buddy, I'm sorry. Account suspended. Hey, we're Nestle. We're totally Nestle. We steal your water and sell it back to you, lol. <laughs> wow, that's insane. The official Nestle account saying this. I can't believe that it is on the record that everyone online should believe that Nestle openly admitted that they do this. Can't ever get caught lacking. How do people leave the house without a water bottle and comfortably function not knowing when their next drink of water will be? Look, considering this was back in the time when people were still panicking whether or not they actually had enough resources to survive staying at home, I can understand this panic. I also think this is where I personally developed the habit of walking around with water all the time. And I... <laughs> kind of agree. <laughs> I just, I feel more secure walking around with water. It just, it's so nice to be able to drink some refreshment whenever you want. Me getting up at 3am to drink water. <laughs> You're not allowed to be disgusted by that noise. It's for health reasons, okay? You have to respect it. If you don't, then you're a disgusting person yourself because you don't endorse healthy habits. Anyway. We need to talk about our generation's Xanax problem. Ah, we're done doing Xanax. We out here drinking water now. Catch up, loser. Guy who's about to invent carbonation. Drinking water. Hmm, refreshing. I wish this hurt. Frick off, Mio. Water tastes like water. So we fixed it. Thomas had never seen such bullshit before. You can't fix water because it's not broken. Yeah, their taste buds are what need to be fixed. Perfectly said, H2O. There is no way your opinion could be biased about this subject. What is it even supposed to taste like? Great value brand Kool-Aid? A uh, shout out to the two girls from Sunday night at the bar who were on acid, uh, completely lost the idea of time and currency, and tipped me $350 after I served them glasses of water for three hours. Yeah, no doubt they were heavily dehydrated from the trip and that water was like a nectar from the gods. Seriously, I need to reiterate again just how incredibly good water can taste when you haven't had it in a while. Oh, and that late night slurp. Oh, man. Oh, it's so good. You can't be mad at that noise again, remember? You can't be mad at it. You can't be disgusted by it. No commenting. No, no, no. No, no bad comments about the sound. You have to love the sound. Don't make Jaddy angry. No, I don't know. I'm not doing that. <laughs> I attempted it first and then just I immediately backpedal. Like, I, I'm, I'm immediately aware of just how gross I feel. Hey Reddit, uh, what does intimacy feel like from a guy's perspective? You know when you're so thirsty that your lips are chapped and your mouth is dry, but then you drink some water and it's so fucking good because it's exactly what you needed and every fiber of your being is consumed by the most euphoria of that water cascading over every ripple and fold of your esophagus until you're finally quenched to the point of bursting and you release a satisfied ah. 
It's like that, but you also get to squeeze some titties. Stop posting this photo. This is Nestle water. Frick Nestle. This isn't a wet dream. This is a hydro homey nightmare. Oh, I knew these guys didn't like Nestle. I, you know, I had a feeling. Uh, no liquids are allowed on board. Okay. <laughs> Enjoy your flight. Fools, 60% of my body is liquid. Tricky Tony 1, TSA 0. With a handy natural straw. Get out. Home. Chug water. Well, you know, as they say, when in Rome, do as the people do what is the name of their town. And honestly, I'd rather be here at Chugwater, Wyoming than Scratch Ankle, Alabama. Though not as traumatizing as the family trips to Spanker Knob and Mount Blowhard in Victoria. Both actual mountains in Victoria, Australia. Easy win. You're offered $300 million, but you can never drink alcohol again. Can you do it? Okay, but like, uh, unable to or just not allowed to? Being unable to is easy because like if you accidentally drink some of it, you, you're not going to be able to. Like, you're not able to. Not allowed to implies there's repercussions and failure. I just, <laughs> I'll be walking around with some sort of sealed bottle at all times and only drinking from that. 